So as you guys saw, we were painting with tan. Um, painting is not typically part of their normal uh, daily enrichment that we do. We maybe maybe do it once a month with each cat. So it's more just for um, enrichment for them to stimulate their minds. It's a little bit of something new. It's also just fun for the keepers to watch. And sometimes if we do it outside on exhibit like we did today, guests can also watch. Um, each of our tigers paints differently. Um, Aria is really into scents, so a lot of times we'll just spray paper um, with the paint on it and then we'll spray it with uh, perfume or scents or anything we have and she'll just kind of roll around in it. Um, it's a 50-50 chance in whether or not we're going to get that painting back from her because she may just take it and destroy it because she just loves it so much. Um, the boys are a little bit more calm. Um, typically, if we do any painting behind the scenes, we'll incorporate a training session with them. Um, so we're having them sit, lay down, present their paws. Um, so it does benefit them medically and it stimulates their mind with a training session, but then they're also smearing that paint around when I ask them to lay down. Um, and then once they walk away or we can ship them out of the den, then we can safely remove the painting. Um, here with Tan painting on exhibit, um, I just sprayed a little bit of perfume and put some of his meatballs on the paper as well to kind of entice him to hopefully smear around the paint a little bit. Um, he was more interested in some of the perfume I put on the first painting. Um, I sprayed that one the most, the rest of them I just kind of spritzed to see what he would do with it. And he was really feeling that uh, particular scent, so. Hopefully we'll get those back in one piece tomorrow morning when we ship them inside. It's all abstract art. Um, no painting is ever gonna be the same, no matter how much you try to recreate it. Um, they're all individual cats, so they paint differently, and they could be really into the sensory sense um, that we provide for them. Other times they have no interest at all, so it just depends on their mood and how interested they are if they are willing to participate in the painting. So, and then we really want to get that painting back, but then they're just so into painting that they'll take the paper, just crumble it up and shred it. So then we're left with nothing, which is really sad. But it is what it is. It's a 50 50 shot when we paint a tiger. So they're enjoying it, which makes us happy. So they are engaging, they're enriched, even though it's not a natural item. Um, but yeah, that's the point of enrichment. It's just something different and get them stimulated. So.